Tonight at 5, a possible breakthrough for those battling depression. The FDA just approved a new treatment, a nasal spray. The new drug is a relative of ketamine, an often abused party drug nicknamed Special K. It's because of that doctors will have to take extra steps to help reduce the potential for misuse or abuse. NBC Charlotte's Brooke Katz has details on how the new treatment works. Hope for depression could be as simple as a nasal spray, but because of the powerful nature of it, there will be a strict system for administering it. It's the first major depression treatment to hit the U.S. in decades, a nasal spray called esketamine. So this is really a game changer for those who have been suffering from the oftentimes debilitating effects of depression. Dr. Carla Robinson says the new drug is new hope for those who've not found relief in traditional therapies. Depression affects roughly 300 million people. Dr. Robinson says about a third of those don't respond to typical treatments. This critical bunch of, of patients who um, have really lost their hope because there has been no option for them, this really opens the door for um, a potential therapy that can really, um, really give them back their quality of life that they've been missing. The drug closely related to ketamine, a pain reliever that's been widely abused as a street drug. But ketamine has also been successfully used as an off-label treatment for depression. Dr. Robinson says this new drug, along with the FDA approval, could mean similar benefits for a larger population. Among the potential side effects, sedation and a feeling of dissociation. That's why patients receiving the drug will have to go to their doctor's office to take it. The doctor will monitor them for at least two hours and then eventually clear them to go home. But the drug stays with the doctor. This is absolutely an exciting uh, time in the field of, of, of mental health. Dr. Robinson says patients would likely get treatment either weekly or biweekly. The drug makers say it could help 30 to 40 percent of patients who don't respond to antidepressants. Reporting from West Charlotte, Brooke Katz, NBC Charlotte.